Hi, my name is Brandon McElwain. I'm the Marketing Director here at State Tech, and I'd like to welcome you to this week's edition of State Tech Talks. Last week we mentioned that State Tech was once again named the number one college in the country, this time by the website College Consensus, which we are still very excited about. But we also want to congratulate two specific programs this week. A big State Tech Mo congrats to our Dental Assisting Technology Program for being named the number one dental assisting program in the country by best accredited colleges. That is awesome. And another big State Tech Mo congrats to our Automotive Technology Program. They were named the second best automotive technology program in the entire country, also by best accredited colleges. So good job to both of those amazing programs. We are now in the home stretch for the spring semester, and that means graduation is only a couple weeks away on May 14th. Our ceremonies will take place in the Activity Center this year, so please be on the lookout for everything related to graduation online. You are very close to becoming a State Tech graduate, and of course, as you now know, that is the number one college in the country. And before we leave today, we wanted to show you our latest Trevor Tries It. Now, this is a web series with Trevor from 96.7 KCMQ in their Morning Shag Show. He tries various jobs here that you can learn how to do at State Tech. In this video, Trevor tries to fix an ICU monitoring machine, and this is in our Biomedical Engineering Technology Program. Uh, I'm Drew Collins. My program is Biomedical Engineering Technology at State Technical College of Missouri, and we work on biomedical equipment of all different shapes and kinds in hospitals, um, clinics, and even some warehouses to make sure that the equipment is ready to go when it's hooked up to a person, and it's supposed to actually help keep them alive. And this is Trevor Tries It with State Tech, where today I'm going to be working with Drew. Something is going to go wrong with this piece of equipment, and I will have to figure out how to fix it without no training at all. What essentially has happened is the machine has broken. Okay. It has been put to us say, we need to fix it. So what you have to do is figure out what's wrong with it to try to fix it. Oh boy, all right. Not okay, really all right, well, let's, uh, let's light this candle. Let's see what happens. I mean, there's a giant red light, that can't be good. Now this is just a basic um, ICU monitoring system that usually is in any patient room. It's measuring heart rate, it's measuring respiration rate, and it's also going to measure blood pressure at different intervals. Oh good, so multiple things that can be going wrong here. Fantastic. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, that, that's definitely not good. Okay. Oh, that's a, that is a crazy looking battery, but that seems, it got louder. Why did it get louder? Okay, how about this guy? What's this guy? That, that, that looks completely foreign to me. Talk to me. Stop beeping at me, but talk to me. Apina VTAC? VTAC ap Apina? Is that what I think that's saying, but I don't know what it means. Apnea. Uh, apnea. That doesn't help me. That doesn't help me at all. Um, apnea is the absence of breathing. The absence of breathing. Oh, God. So no breathing. I don't even see like a breathing tube, apparatus of sorts. Could be something as simple as a setting. A setting. Okay. All right. I can take a hint. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, start, stop, stop, all, zero. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to click it. Oh, all right. We turned it off. We're turning it back on. Oh, if it's that. Oh. It couldn't be that. No. Cannot analyze e oh, ECG. It keeps changing. Cannot analyze ST. Okay, all right. We fixed it. I got nothing. I got absolutely nothing. I have no idea. Yeah, you know, you stumped me. Um, not that that's terribly difficult to do, but you know, I'm humble enough to admit it. You stumped me. I got no idea. Is Mr. Simley a student of ours? He actually has a lot of real world experience. He's actually been working at an internship and is currently employed with a biomed department part time uh, right now while he's in school. Teach me what you know. Okay. So that so. that was really rude when it was doing that. For a silence the alarm. Um, I also seen you messing with these, so I want to make sure that they. Are yeah, do the, yeah. I may have. I may, I, I may have messed that up. I may. Have. This is not a battery. It's a simulated tester. It's what's providing you all your signals. Oh, okay. So it totally looks like a battery. <laughs> what we're gonna do is you were on 
overpressure here. Okay. So it's not giving you proper signals. All right. We're going to change it to an adult normal 120 over 80. Oh, hit the big yellow button. That that was what I missed. How long have you been doing this? I've been in school here for two years and I've been having an internship in uh, Jeff City for one year. So you, you, you know your way around this and, and you could obviously chain it to somebody as novice as me without any training. Uh, you, you, you know your way around uh, the, the equipment to be able to save lives in a pinch. Yes, I actually trained Mr. Brown, another professor here at the same internship. He trained another professor. Fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much for all that you do. Thank you for uh, bailing me out uh, of this situation. You could learn how to do this as just as easily. StateTechMo.edu. That's StateTechMo.edu. I'm Trevor from 96.7 KCMQ. For Trevor Tries It at State Tech. Well, as you see, he failed, <laughs> like always. We love you, Trevor. Well, that's a wrap for this week. We'll see you back here next week.